Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing constellation. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Constellations. These are groups of stars that form clear patterns in the sky. The Asian people first observed these groups of stars as outlines of animals and other objects. They found it easier to locate and remember constellations when they tried to find a clear and pattern the way a group of stars are engaged. For example, in the Northern Hemisphere, they have observed a group of stars which they thought looked like a dragon and they named this group as Traco. In the Southern Hemisphere, they noticed a group of stars that seemingly form a cross and so they called it a South Southern Cross. Some of the known constellation and stars. We have the International Astronomical Union or IAU made a list of the official modern constellations. There are 88 constellations on the list and many of these were discovered by the ancient Greeks. We have the Ursa Major. It resembles a big bear and is the third largest constellation in the night sky. It includes the Big Dipper, which is composed of the seven stars, Al-Qaid, al Khor. Al and Mizar appear as one, Alioth, Megrez, Pekta, Merak, and Dube. Ursa Minor It is a little bear con containing a group of stars known as the Little Deeper. The handle of the Deeper serves as the Little Bear's tail and the Deeper's cup is the bear's thigh. The most famous star in the Ursa Minor is the Polaris. Polaris is also called as the North Star. Some constellations are named after Greek mythology legends. Two of them are Cassiopeia, the Queen, and Orion, the hunter. Cassiopeia. It consists of five stars that seem to form a letter W. It represents the Queen Cassiopeia of the mythical kingdom of Ethiopia. Orion. It is one of the most recognizable constellations in the night sky and is visible throughout the world. Three of its stars formed its belt. Orion's belt is also an asterism. An Orion's right shoulder is a red supergiant star called Betelgeuse. A bluish white star called Regal is found on Orion's left knee. The Polar Constellation There are some constellations that can be seen only during certain seasons of the year. These are called North Polar Constellations and South Polar Constellations. The constellations nearest the center of the Earth can be seen throughout the year. The people living in the Northern Hemisphere 
sea constellations different from those living in the southern hemisphere. North Polar Constellation Some of the North Polar Constellations include the following Cassiopeia, Sepius, Ursa Major, and Ursa Minor. Sepius Sepius is the 27th largest constellation in the northern sky. It is faint, but its definite shape makes it easy to locate if you look in the north in August and September evenings. South Polar Constellation Some of the South Polar Constellations include the following Carina, Centaurus, and Crooks. Carina. Carina constellation is located in the southern sky. Carina used to be part of the much larger constellation Argonavis along with the constellations Pupis and Vela. The constellation represented the mythical sheep Argo. Centaurus Centaurus is one of the largest constellations in the southern sky. It represents the centaur, the half-man, half-horse creature in Greek mythology. Centaurus contains two of the top ten brightest stars in the sky, the Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri. Crooks The constellation Crooks, the cross, is a constellation centered on the four star in the southern sky in a bright portion of the Milky Way. It is among the most easily distinguished constellation. The brilliant cross is formed by bright stars make it, it one of the most familiar sights to southern hemisphere observers. Usefulness of Constellations Since ancient times, constellations are always helpful to people. They use the appearance of certain stars to forecast the weather. When stars are visible, they expect fair weather. But when stars are hidden behind the clouds, the next day may be cloudy or rainy. Constellations are helpful to navigators too. Navigators use their knowledge in constellations in the conduct of their work. When they lost at sea, they refer to Polaris, which is in Ursa Minor. They use Polaris as their guiding star. Polaris is a fixed star. It is located at the north. By using Polaris as guide, it is easy to find south, east, west, and west directions. Let's do this. Perform the activity. Title, Constellation Model. Draw one example of North Polar Constellation and one example of South Polar Constellation. We were going to draw the North Polar Constellation and for our South Polar Constellation. Why 
What particular constellation have you drawn? How can you describe such constellation? I drew Cepheus from the North Polar Constellations and the South Polar Constellations is Centaurus. Cepheus defined as the 27th largest constellation in the northern sky, while the Centaurus is one of the largest constellations in the southern sky. It represents the centaur, the half-man, half-horse creature in Greek mythology. How can you differentiate North Polar Constellation and South Polar Constellation? People in the Northern Hemisphere can see the little deeper all year long. That's because this constellation is directly north of Earth axis. People in the Southern Hemisphere can see the little deeper, but they have a few circumpolar constellations of their own. Why do you think the people living in the Northern Hemisphere see constellations differently compared to those living in the Southern Hemisphere? People near the North Pole can see the constellations that are two to the north of Earth. People near South Pole can see the ones that are to the south. People who live in between can see some of both. It depends on how close they are to the equator. Let's do this! Perform the activity. Title, Debugging Superstitions About Stars. Superstitious belief about stars. Shooting stars are as falling souls. Scientific explanation. Shooting stars is really a small piece of rock or dust that hits Earth atmosphere from space. Next superstitious belief, stars position predict weather. Scientific explanation, polar orbiting satellites provide the information most useful for long-term weather forecasting. The next superstitious belief, you'll die when you reach 100 counting the stars. Scientific explanation, there is no scientific data that this claim is true. The next superstitious belief, Stars at sea can predict which way the wind will blow. Scientific explanation Using the wind vanes, we can tell the wind directions. Based on the gathered data among some members of your community, what are some beliefs and practices associated with the stars they believe in? Some members of the community believes that the stars that is falling is a falling soul. Stars can predict the weather. They will die after reaching counting stars to 100 and stars can tell the direction where the wind will blow.
based on the responses of your interviewees, how do we do beliefs about the stars affect their lives? In some ways, it affects their lives on how they see things in different manner, but it doesn't harm them anyway. As a learner, how would you convince them that their beliefs and practices associated with the stars have no scientific basis? In order to convince them that their belief have no scientific basis, I will share some of the studies and articles for them to be informed about what they believed in. Let's do this! Identify each constellation that can be seen at a particular time of the year. On the box provided before each number, draw a heart, eyes, emoji if it is a north polar constellation, wow, an emoji if it is a south polar constellation. The first picture is wow emoji. The second picture is wow emoji. The third picture is heart eye emoji. The fourth picture is heart eye emoji. And the fifth picture is Wow Emoji. Let's do this. Explain the information that can be obtained from the location of constellations in the sky. There are some constellations that can be seen only during certain seasons of the year. These are called North Polar Constellations and South Polar Constellations. The constellations nearest the center of the Earth can be seen throughout the year. The people living in the Northern Hemisphere see constellations different from those living in the Southern Hemisphere. Some of the North Polar constellations include the following. We have Cassiopeia, Cephas, Ursa Major, and Ursa Minor. Some of the South Polar constellations include the following. Carina, Centaurus, and Crux. Let's do this. On the space provided, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Ursa Mayor resembles a big bear and is it is the third largest constellation in the night sky. This is true. Constellations are groups of stars that form clear patterns in the sky. This is true. Some of the North Polar constellations include the following. Carina, Centaurus, and Crux. This is false. Centaurus represent the centaur, the half-man, Half horse creature in Greek mythology. This is true. Since ancient times, consolation are not helpful to people. This is false. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.